Hey everyone, Steve Harris here with Muse Themes. One thing I've always found odd about Muse is we have the ability to span the full browser width or create an element that will touch both sides of the browser left and right. But we've never had the ability to create an element that will touch the top and bottom or be 100% height. Now, if you're making something like a pinned sidebar menu, kind of like you see here on the Ink Magazine site, it can be really difficult to do because I'll show you how in Muse, you're constantly struggling with the footer and pinning this element. And so let's go ahead and let's create a site here that's got kind of a longer page. Let's say we've got about a thousand pixels, something like that. And let's say we wanted to have a kind of a sidebar navigation. So we draw a rectangle and I'll fill it with black here. And if we wanted it to span the full browser height, we'd kind of have to just drag it down. But the problem is then it's going to hit the footer and it's going to start expanding the bottom down. So it's really not touching the bottom of the browser. Another thing we could do is probably pin this like that and then it should stay fixed there. But the thing is with this method is depending on the browser size and I'll preview it in the browser here, this looks right. But if somebody's got a bigger resolution screen size, then it might look like this where you've got you know, kind of this gap along the bottom. So the problem with this method is nothing's really fixed to the top and bottom of the browser. So what we've done here is we've created a new widget called 100% height enabler, and I'll show you how this works. So this is a really tiny and simple widget, but it's quite powerful. So let's go to our toolbox file and number 44, 100% height enabler, just drag that out on the page there. So when we drag that out, you have two elements that appear. We have the actual widget, which is this little graphic that says 100%, and it has a flyout panel with only one option, the option to input a graphic style name. So then we also have a box. We've just included this sample box. And so this box has a graphic style named full height already applied to it. So just with this on the canvas, I'm gonna position this box up at the top, and I actually have it pinned right now, so I'm gonna remove pinning for a sec, and let's just preview this in the browser and see how it looks. So as you can see right away, it spans the full height of the browser. Now one thing that I do want to point out here is you're noticing a little gap on the bottom. And that's because if you scroll down in Muse, we've got these two kind of guides. We've got bottom of page and bottom of browser. Now I've talked to a lot of users about how they use Muse and 99% of users build their site like this. You've got your footer guide and then you've basically got one guide or these two combined here for the bottom of the page. So if we go back to that example and we preview it again in the browser here, you can see that just clears up that little gap at the bottom that we had. So this widget is working well, it's spanning 100% height. And the interesting thing about it is you can see in design view, we've just got a tiny little box here, right? I mean, the box could be just a couple pixels high like that, but when you preview it in the browser, it still spans the full height. So let's go ahead and do something with this. Let's design something with this. The reason that I made this widget is because here's what I envision you doing. First of all, you don't need to have this on the canvas. We can just kind of have it off to the side so it's not interrupting. And let's start from fresh. So I'm gonna delete out this box. I'm gonna do a pinned sidebar navigation system. So I'm gonna create a new rectangle and we'll just draw it right here. I'm gonna remove the stroke and let's fill it with maybe go ahead and create a new swatch and let's do a gray color just like that okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a graphic style for this box so let's just create a new style and let's give it a name and I'm just gonna call it box there okay now let's go to our 100% height enabler widget and let's just enter that style name in there so that it applies the 100% height to that box okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scale this up a little bit so I can add some elements on top of it, but I'm going to pin it to the top left side of the browser. So what that will do now is when I preview this in the browser, you can see that it's taking up 100% of the height, but as I scroll, it's always gonna stay visible. So let's go ahead and add some text to this like we would a normal menu. So I'm just gonna draw a text box and let's say menu. And of course I'll add some text styles to it here. So I'm gonna use Proxima for this. Okay, and I'll scale this up. Okay, so now that we've got that there, let's just position it. And you know what, I'll go ahead and center this. We'll put it there. And then let's just duplicate this down as if we were creating various menu items. So let's go ahead and say home. 
we'll say about and something like portfolio there. And now I'm just gonna select all of these and shrink that text size down a bit. It's a little bit huge, so okay, there you go. And let's maybe change the color. Um, I don't have any good color set up here, but we'll pick something like blue there. So let's just pretend for uh, example purposes that we've got a nice navigation menu designed on this side. Now what we would do is also pin these elements to the top left, so let's select them all and, and select pin and the upper left. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little box on the page. And this is just meant to represent page content. And I'm going to move this box way, way down the page. So let's just expand this page so that it's really long. So imagine we're just pushing content down and pushing that footer down. And so it looks like right about now our content is sitting at about 1600 pixels. So definitely a scroll or a page that you would scroll through. So if we preview this in the browser, you can see that our navigation menu is here on the left side. And as we scroll down, it stays perfectly fixed in the correct position. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's just basic pinning and we could do that all the time. But if we didn't have this 100% enabler widget on, I'll just delete that out and show you what happens. This is what we would get. We'd get this weird gap at the bottom. And you're probably thinking, well, you know what? I can just scale this up. And so let's just drag this box down and Let's leave it there. I mean, fine, that's great you can do that, but it, you're going to be doing that manually for every single time you adjust this page. So having this widget just automatically scale the box up will save you a lot of time and frustration. And there's actually a lot of cool things you can do with it as far as creating these pin sidebar navigation menus. So anyhow, this is our first release, and I'd love to see what you're going to do with this widget. It's really small and really simple, so enjoy and have fun playing around with it. Let us know if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks again.